So the mistake that I made is I didn't transition out of these shoes, which are just running shoes. I should have switched out to a shoe that was going to allow me uh, a multi-directional um, flexibility. The running shoes are meant just to project you forward like that. They're really not meant for like the the side to side, so the shuffle and karaoke. So I should have put these on. Felt okay, but I definitely could tell when I was uh, changing directions and things that the. Uh, the build in the shoe was not holding me up, uh, not supporting me like I should have. So you live and you learn. And for clarity, it doesn't have to be a shoe that's like a cleated shoe. If you just have a cross trainer, um, a cross trainer would have been a better shoe because it's built to move in multiple directions, not just propel you forward like a running shoe. So now I have the proper shoes on for the ladders. I could have gone with these or a different variety of cleat, but I'm gonna go with the ones that I just showed um, because they're a more comfortable shoe as far as that sort of back and forth. So I'm gonna stick with this one for now. And with cleats, I like it just to be for the explosive, um, high level, um, high speed stops, turns, runs, things like that. This is more just staying um, on top of my footwork, balance, things like that. So. Every shoe has a purpose, and that's how I'm going to utilize it. So now I'm switching out from this cleat to this one. I want the pull, I want the torque, I want a little more heavy duty um, for what I'm going to be doing, which is just the uh, sled pull. And I'm debating between going 20 or 40 yards with it. We're only going 50 pounds. So, uh, yeah, let's stay tuned. That felt great. Uh, walked over while well, I'm still breathing heavy because I'm picking up a lot of that dust and dirt from the sled. And at the end, when I stopped, that sled kept sliding. It tells me I was moving at a pretty good rate and I'm on a low, fast surface. But either way, I'm feeling good with these 40s at 50 pounds. So now I'm going to swap out from these to these. This is just more like a track shoe. It's still a cleat, but it's more like a track shoe. It is much uh, snugger. And because I'm just going for 40s with the parachute, I think I want to give that, give it a shot with these and just see what it's like with a little bit of a lighter shoe, uh, less build to it, and uh, maybe a little bit more grip or at least a different grip. So we're going to give it a shot. And this is going to be a little difficult to gauge, like, I, I've already run the four sleds of 40s, and that's the furthest I've run. So, I did four sets of that, so I can feel it a little bit, but I think I'll still be able to tell how I'm going to do, uh, or how these perform with the parachute um, in different cleats. So, it's just going to be interesting, but yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we got. I don't know if it's uh, visible because it's so far away. My first few steps, I stumbled. So used to the pull of the sled that you got to kind of lean into it. And these shoes are much lighter. Felt good. And I noticed that I had the parachute out and up pretty quickly. I could feel that it was pulling upwards. So uh, good experiment. I'm going to try to knock out three more. And uh, I'll take them uh, heat by heat. My uh, right quad, right hip, little naggy. I mean, maybe like a one or two out of 10. So I don't wanna push myself too far, but I also wanna challenge myself.